this is a video to show these are the stuff that I bring with me when I'm cycling now this pump here is called the Lazine Microfloor Drive HP Mini Pump there's a handle here this is what I bring with me every single day in case I get a puncher it has ABS air bleed system equipped here you can see I've got my gauges here it's a bit kind of hard to see so you've got the bars and you've got the PSI so what I do I can take it off from the top from here it comes off you can see and then from the bottom I can screw out from the bottom here so you see let's just try to get out this is the part that says press the valve down the other side it says Schrader you can see inside that's the press the side best thing about this you hold and you turn as you turn you see you got your Schrader, you got your Presto, you can put any direction you want. You screw it in this way, it's just gonna get in. And see, you have your Schrader over there. But as I'm using Presto, valves, what I'll do, I'll just turn back around and I'll put it back in. This is what I'm using. Here you have a button here that releases air pressure. If I bring this more closer, you can see here's your gauge, you have your PSI and stuff. At the bottom, you have yourself a kickstand. This is the kickstand where we'll sit here and use pump. <laughs> As you can hear that, that's how it looks like. That's the kickstand at the bottom. It moves all the way around, you see, 360. It moves any way you want it to move. Goes around, you can see, goes around any way you want. Just like that. Now this is that Liz Lizine. It's called the Lizine Micro Floor Drive HP Mini Pump. This is what I use every single day. The next thing I carry with me all the time is the Alien 2. This tool I've been using for about over 15 plus years. This is my second one as I lost my first one. You have your 6mm Allen key what goes into this is the, if I'm correct, this is the 10 mil, what you see on top of there. Then you have your, your five mil. This one would be your four mil. You have yourself a Phillips two screwdriver. This is the T25. This is the one you use for your when you're putting on your disc onto your bike. So when you're putting on your new rotors, this is the one you use, what's called T25. That's the Torx 25. Don't think the camera's doing justice as I'm in wide angle. Um, best thing about this Alien 2, it separates. This one here is used to let down Schrader um, valves when you're letting out their pressure. This is your tire lever. As you see, there's two tire levers on each side. If you come here, you have your eight mil spanner. You have your nine mil spanner. You have like the 14 G, 15 G spoke tool. You have your 10 mil spanner. You have yourself a screwdriver. This is the pin tool to get back in the chain. 
this is your bot opener and if I push it back there has a knife on it to be able to cut your hose in and stuff like that if that's is needed or cut off like zip ties and stuff this is your chain tool this supports up to 12 speed chains but the only one you can't do is the 11 speed Holoping Campagnolo but it will do any other chain as long as it's not 11 speed um, um, Holoping Campagnolo you're good to find I mean you're good to go so because I don't use Campagnolo I don't really have to worry about that then you have your 8 mil you got the 3 mil you got your 2 mil adding key and this is what I use this is the tool that always got me everywhere this is a place where you put your spare parts so this is the alien 2 I've always used this tool it's helped out in all the situations um, one part I didn't show yet take that off you've got yourself a pedal spanner you've got your I think that's 10, 8, 9 um, for bolts and when you want to let me see if I've got that one correct yeah so this one is the 8 so it's not, yeah that would be 9 that's 10 so there you go you put it onto the pedal spanner you turn your pedal gives you the extra leverage to tighten up your pedal nicely and you put it onto here as you see it goes on like that also there's another interesting thing about this tool now if you bring out your let me see 10 mil let's say let's say um Let's say you have something with six mil, okay? What you do with that six mil, this slides down, and you've got something with six mil, because my bike seat used to be a six mil axle, when I used to have a BMX seat. So I used to put this into the BMX seat, and as you can see here, this one goes onto that 10 mil, as you see what's going up and down. And I used to use it as leverage to take up my seat. Because when rain used to get into my BMX saddle, it used to get stuck. So I used to put this on, onto the 10 mil, and turn. And I used to be able to get out every time. So that's one thing I liked. So if you're using a 6 bolt, and you need extra leverage, this is what you could do with Alien 2. And this is the tool that I carry me every day. If you're using, um, like, bikes where... The brake is not on top of the seat stay, but it's between the chain stay and the seat stay. Um, you're going to have to bring an additional tool I'll show you. Would be this one. If you're using the normal brakes that sits on top of the seat stay, then you wouldn't need to bring this along. Because on my specialized rock hopper sport, the brake is sits inside of the between the seat stay, the chain stay, and where the the dropout part is of the bike. And because it's so short, you have to use a Allen key like this. But I strongly recommend bring like a park tool or ice tool or whatever you're using. Because you want the one with the longer handle to give it extra leverage. And when you line up your back disc brakes, you use, some, you use that and you're good to go. So that's the only thing about this tool. Because I can't fit in and do my back brake when I need to. Apart from that, everything else you can do. So this is what I carry with me. I carry with me. The, these are the bike cut. These are from Halfords. They're the self-seal. Been using it for years now. Because I just don't want to be sitting there with glue 
and patches. I just wanted to go on pump. And once I get home, I'm going to deal with the rest of the situation when I need to. So let me just get out. So this is it here. So all I have to do is peel it off, put it on, put it onto the, t um, onto the inner tube. Of course, I want to make sure if you've got that part on the inner tube where you've got that line part, it's always best to smooth it down, smooth off any part on the inner tube, wipe it down and then just patch it first. Because when you've got that little line where the inner tube joins, if you put a patch on, the air will just leak straight through. So you have to make sure you rub and file it down. So these are the patches I just used for the time being. Use that. It's Alien 2. This is by the company by Topeak. So let me just put it back. It even comes with a Topeak patch, as you can see. Topeak. So I do. I'll put that back in. And of course I made a little mistake. I forgot to um, put back my actual pedal spanner. This. Make sure you put this back. You don't want to lose that. So that part goes in here. It sits in there like that. Goes over. You want to put this back into the patches. As you get this back in the patches, you put that down. Of course, with this tool, I'm gonna kind of uh, screw this back in. I need this to go in, like here. I need to go in. I need it to be like this. So I screw it in from the top. Put the hose on. There you go. You got yourself your pump like that. That's how it looks. Just like that. Stand it up. Now this is all the stuff that I use. For my bike and uh i'm good to go so this is the main thing where it's always recommended to carry with you because it's always important because you never know where you may go you may go somewhere far you may break down it's always good to have a good multi-tool to help you out in situations this has helped me out for over 15 years and that's why i bought a second one and it's a really good tool. And as far as I'm concerned, it's high quality. I never had the Allen keys round off for me. This tool has been built properly. Of course, this one does feel a little bit more lighter compared to the original one I had. had because the original one I had before, the materials was... You can feel it's more premium than this. This tool is still incredible, but the other one you can have, you can see that it had more of that premium feel when I bought it like fifteen years ago. You can tell by the materials that you use now from back then, but it's still a brilliant tool. And this is a tool I recommend because this tool is a tool I know is it will always work. This pump. Is really really good because when you're pumping up you can easily hit high psi without straining it's very easy to reach that psi with a normal um, hand pump like this you're going to start feeling it i used to have the specialized windpipe and every time i kept using the windpipe and i'm like this you can feel it's as if you've gone to the gym lifting up heavy weights ah especially when you used to come to winter times you want to get your bike up you want to get your bike running when it comes to winter, you just don't want to be straining with a pump. This pump is just like, it's just like, and you don't really feel no resistance because it's literally practically, it's, it's, it's a floor pump. And when you're pumping, you've got the kickstand, the tires got nice and easy. The next reason why I bought this is because I went from a 26 inch tire into a 29. And because the 29 is so much bigger, it's going to require more air to go in. So I decided um, what I'm going to do, I need to get make sure that I had to get myself a floor pump that I can pump up 
and easy to get the tyres up. So this is the next reason I bought it because I had 29 inch tyres. I just don't want to be stuck with a little hand pump doing that. And you can't get the pump up or you can't get your tyres up that easy. So this is the equipment that I bring with me and I use it all the time. And there's another tool when I when I get home and I need to do the rest of my tires, you have this tool. This is the let's see I'll show it. This is my Topeak Sports Free Pump. As you can see, this is the pump I use when I get home with a Schrader valve. Over here you see got this presser valve. This is what I use when I get home. And if I show you this way, as you can see, that's the gauge over here. You've got your football needle, airbed needle. You've got this part you can turn around, your gauge. You turn around and set up. Now this is the pump I use. So when I get home, I use this pump. So this is the pump I use when I'm doing up my tyres. And I pump up with this. So this is the one that I use outside just to get me back up and running. And once I get back home, I use this one. Get it in my tires the way I want it. So this is the Joe Bolt, the Joe, the Joe Glow Sport 3. I think I paid like £44 for it. Really do like it though. Really like this pump. The yellow and black. So that's the pump I'd use when I get back home and I'm pumping up stuff. So yeah, so this is the the tool. I mean this is the suspension pump I use. And um I'm good to go. Hope hopefully you like the video. Um yeah. If you like it, you can thumbs it up. If you don't, you thumbs it down. So that's a little talk to show um what I carry with me on my bike. I don't think there's anything else I carry. I think as much I can see. Um, let me see what else I carry. Yeah, I think I've got something else. Um, let me see. I carry gloves for mechanics. It's always good. In case you're touching oily stuff or you may want to keep your hands clean. I always bring gloves with me. I think I need to put some more in my bag. I feel like I'm starting to run out of gloves. Let me see. Yeah, so I've got two pairs of gloves. So I kind of need to put some more in my bag. I need my wrap sack. Let me see I have. Um, it's not in that one. I think it should be in this one over here. I carry. Let me see. Just a D lock. Just a. Kryptonite Evolution Small D-Lock This is what I use If I need to quickly go in the shop But these days I'll no longer lock my bike no more Because People will just Chew through it so easy and your bike could be gone So I don't really use it no more It's only if I Need to go in somewhere I don't want to be at least No more than Three minutes then then I'll, I'll lock it. So, yeah. And when time gets cold, got my gloves. My gloves have done me some well. Still have them. And of course, this is what I need to put back in my bag. And put it something like that. This goes back in my bag. And I get that back in here. Um. Let's get the last pouch out and then as I set this bag back up, the next thing I want to do, I want to put my patches back in here. Is that what it was on? Yeah, there we go. Patches back, good to go. Of course, I need to get myself a whole new rack set. Yeah, this bag I need to change soon. 
I need to get myself a proper mountain bike bag. I need to get myself a proper, proper bag. For a long time, I've been running this normal carry more bag from a Sports Direct. I think it's about time I truly upgrade properly. You can see it says carry more at the back with a British flag on it. Um, yeah, and we've got, we've got the sunglasses, what we uh, arrived with. We'll see. The case is kind of damaged, as you see. So, we've got the Oakley, we've got the cleaning alcohol. We have uh, the Oki over here. When the sun's shining or you've got flies about, you just want to protect your eyes. Seems like I didn't put my glasses in my pouch properly. So let me do a few things. So this is the glasses you see here. Lens are kind of dirty. I'm actually going to have to clean that before I put that away. So this is the, um, as you can see, it is the... Oakley Sutros 24 karat gold lens as you can see right here um, I changed the lens you can go into Oakley and get yourself customized you can customize your frame you, you can make it you can make it see-through red yellow green any color you want you can customize your nose piece you could truly fully customize this to any way you want but at the moment I just needed the glasses I didn't really like the the prism rose that came with it so I bought these lenses, so this is what I use, got the Oakley cleaning cloth that comes with it, where you can just uh, like clean the lens stuff with. Now I'm going to have to go back down there and pick up my bottle. Yeah, so these are the stuff that I carry me with me all the time so yeah peace out let me just uh get everything back in my room back in its normal place and we're good to go